少し一つ見えない暗闇今夜も寝る人いない何を What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the Marksman Hero, Brody. Brody has a good set of area of effects, blink, burst, and crowd control skills. The Lone Star, Brody, is a Marksman Hero. I consider Brody as a burst marksman, since his passive lets him charge his basic attack to make it devastating. Not only that, his ultimate skill can also deal destructive burst damage to all the enemies nearby. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Brody based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Brody's passive, Abyss Corrosion, buffs Brody to kill a target faster. Brody is able to move while winding up his basic attacks. The winding up will be interrupted when using skills. Each basic attack deals increased physical damage, increases his movement speed which decays rapidly in a few moments and inflicts one stack of Abyss Mark to the target. This stacks up to four times. Each stack increases Brody's damage against the target by a certain percentage and have his movement speed increased even more. Brody's first skill, Abyss Impact, lets him send a shockwave forward. Brody launches a shockwave towards a specified direction. Enemies hit along the path will receive physical damage will slow them down and applies a stack of his passive. For each enemy hit by the shockwave along its travel, it deals an extra damage, inflicts extra slowing effect, and applies additional stack of his passive. This skill deals less damage to minions. Brody's second skill, Corrosive Strike, lets him dash towards a target. Brody dashes to an enemy and deals physical damage. The target will be stunned and will be inflicted with a stack of his passive. Upon hitting the target, he is able to move one more time towards the direction of the joystick. He gains additional movement speed that decays rapidly in a few moments. Brody's ultimate skill, Torn Apart Memory, lets him deal burst damage to enemies. Using this skill locks to targets within a certain distance and deals physical damage. If the enemy hit has an abyss mark, all marks will be consumed, and will receive a certain amount of physical damage plus additional damage depending on the target's lost health points. The damage will be more depending on the number of abyss marks the enemy has. There are so many items that you can buy for Brody. You can focus on items that grants physical attack, physical penetration, additional critical chance and critical hit, and items that grants additional damage. You can consider the Bursty Brody build if you prefer to focus on dealing burst damage. You can also consider the Thunder God build if you prefer to move faster while throwing lightning bolts. But let's talk about the Kurumi way further. As for starting items, you can consider Swift Boots. Swift Boots grants additional attack speed and movement speed. Having additional attack speed will make your basic attacks faster. This will let you deal lots of attacks, especially during team fights. Buying attack items, such as Endless Battle, can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack, health, mana region, life seal, movement speed, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants you additional true damage on your next basic attack after using a skill. Triggering the passive of this skill also grants you additional movement speed. You also might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. You might want to consider Berserker's Fury. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, 
dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount for a short period of time. You might want to consider Scarlet Phantom. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional attack speed and critical chance after dealing a critical hit to an enemy. This buff lasts for a few seconds. Lastly, you might also want to consider Malefic Roar. This item grants physical attack and physical penetration. Also, basic attacks will ignore some of the turret's defense. The item build for Brody really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Brody is Purify. This will help you to be immune to crowd control skills for a short period. This will let you use your skills or basic attacks without the worry of being stunned. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger or chase enemies. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman Emblem set. Custom Marksman Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Marksman. Set Fatal to its max level because it can give you extra critical chance. Higher critical chance means higher chance to deal critical damage. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage. Higher critical damage means higher damage on your critical hits. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce targets movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. For me, it's the best thing to get since this can help you chase fleeing enemies. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage of this skill higher and the cooldown lower. That means, you can deal more explosive and slow the enemies more. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need to deal more damage to enemies. Always upgrade to ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Brody's passive skill is what you need to deal massive burst basic attacks. Your passive skill lets you wind up your basic attack to deal burst damage even while moving. Also, each damage you deal the enemies will leave an abyss mark. The number of abyss marks is shown on the target's body. The more abyss mark your target has the more damage your basic attacks will deal. Also, each hit of your basic attacks grant you movement speed bonus which varies on the number of abyss marks. Even on low level, your basic attacks will be explosive because of the charging. Given that each attack adds a stack of abyss mark which increases the basic attack damage received by the target, it's best to spam your basic attacks to easily eliminate them. And with a movement speed boost granted by your attacks, you can either chase enemies effectively or escape death. Even if the target goes far away from you while charging, they will still receive your basic attack since you have already winded it up. You can also move while winding up your basic attack which can help you chase enemies or escape death. This will help you stay safer while winding up. Just take note that he stops moving when he releases the charged basic attack. Also take note that using a skill while winding up your basic attack will cancel the winding. So for the Kurumi way, we recommend critical chance items because in the late game, your critical hit can deal up around 6000 damage to enemies even the Lord. And look at that yummy lifesteal, oh my god. Brody's first skill is what you need to slow down the enemies and deal burst attacks. Brody releases a shockwave that can hit enemies in a path. For each enemy hit by the shockwave along its travel, it deals an extra damage, inflicts extra slowing effect, and Abby's additional stack of his passive. So it's best on using it in team fights to hurt enemies behind the frontliners more. The range of this skill is far enough to harass enemies trying to escape. With its far range and low mana cost, you can use this to harass enemies while bursting minions in the lane. Just make sure to aim it properly since the coverage of the skill path is not that big. This can also slow down the enemy trying to chase you, with the help of its far range. You can slow down enemies so you and your team can focus your fire on them. Brody's second skill is what you need to stun enemies and reposition yourself. Using this skill will let you dash towards the target and jump to a position your joystick is pointing. You can use this to stun enemies, then move your joystick towards the direction you want to jump to. This will help you escape the enemies trying to chase you. The stun can also support you and your allies to stun the enemy for a while. Then just move your joystick backwards to reposition yourself to safety. The dash will also help you chase the enemies then reposition yourself ahead of them. 
Remember that when you don't move your joystick after the dash, Brody will just stay in place. You can also use minions or other targets to dash to if you are chasing another hero or trying to escape death. Brody's ultimate skill is what you need to deal burst damage to multiple enemies. Using this skill will shoot all enemies with a large radius with lightning bolts. Take note that the abyss marks the target has effects how many hits the ultimate skill will hit. The number of hits depends on the number of abyss marks the target has. So to achieve maximum damage output, it's best to use this skill when the enemies has lots of abyss marks. This skill has a pretty long range. The thick outer mark indicates the range of your ultimate skill. So on this one, Atlas was still hit even if he was already really far from us. Take note also that when you die while casting your ultimate skill, it will still push through since you already pressed the skill. We will show you our experiments regarding Brody's skills later. Lastly, it's best to use this skill when the target is almost dying. This is because the damage increases as the target's lost health points increases. Here we are again with our experiments. We have our cutie lab rats, Rakuten and Valerie, to demonstrate with us some heroes that can greatly counter or dominate Brody and game. First, let's try heroes that might be able to counter Brody's second skill. Let's try if Helkert's silence can stop Brody's jump after dashing towards him. As you can see, Brody got silenced but he was still able to jump after that. How about Kufra's second skill? As you can see, Brody bounced off airborne and didn't do the follow-up jump. Although his bouncing did not stop, he was able to stun Kufra and deal damage. Next, let's try if we can use this skill when under Minsithar's ultimate skill. As you can see, as what other blink skills cannot? Brody's second skill does not let him dash. Minsithar does not allow humans runs away from responsibilities. So if you have responsibilities, don't try to run away from them, okay? How about let's test if we can pass through obstacles with our second skill. As you can see, even if Grok tried to stop Brody from flirting with Silvana, Brody was too persistent to be beside Silvana. Next, let's try if we can dash out of Silvana's ultimate skill by dashing towards an outside target. As you can see, Silvana does not also allow humans runs away from responsibilities. Brody should better take responsibility on whatever he did to Silvana. Next, we are going to test Brody's ultimate skill. Let's test if it can shoot his ultimate skill on certain heroes that has invisibility or concealment skills. Let's try first if he can shoot Natalia from the bush. As you can see, one of the bolts headed towards Natalia. So if you borrowed money from Brody, he will make you pay back with your life for sure, wherever you are hiding. How about Mia's ultimate skill? As you can see, Mia was still hit with Brody's ultimate skill. So invisibility and concealment skills from these two heroes won't clearly work against Brody's ultimate skill. Now let's test if crowd control skills such as stun can stop Brody from casting his ultimate skill. Let's test it against stun. As you can see, even if he was stunned before the creation of the charge above his head, the lightning bolt still pushed through. Well, this is expected because even death cannot stop his ultimate skill. Last but not the least, we have Lolita. I know you're all thinking that Lolita is the best counter for all long-ranged heroes. Well, here is where you went wrong. We will test all of Brody's skills against Lolita's shield. First, let's test his basic attack. As you can see, Lolita willingly accepted his lightning bolt. Same goes with his first skill. Same goes with his second skill. Well, that was not a projectile skill, but there's no harm in trying, right? Lastly, same happened with his ultimate skill. Lolita's shield was definitely useless against Brody. So if you are thinking of countering Brody with Lolita, well think twice and more and more. In terms of his combo, we follow a very simple combo for Brody. First, if the enemies are getting near you, use your first skill to slow them down. This will slow their progress on getting near you. Then, you can deal basic attacks if their distance away from you is still reasonable. Otherwise, you can use your second skill. Then, move your joystick towards the most sensible position to position yourself to either safety or to chase the target farther. Then, you can choose to deal basic attack again. If the enemy has lots of abyss marks or is almost dying, use your ultimate skill for a massive bursting since its damage also depends on target's lost health points. If ever they are still alive, deal basic attacks or use your skills whenever available. Here is another glimpse of our combo. Additional tip, please don't talk trash towards other humans even your enemies. Just imagine those humans you talk trash to as yourself. How do you feel getting trashed off? 
It doesn't feel good, right? So try not to make others feel bad as well. Don't be a bumhole, okay? The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Brody. This video just guides you on how to use Brody the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our cutie lab rats, Rakuten and Valerie, for being our lab rats for this boot camp. You can search for them in-game and tell them how much you appreciate them willing to sacrifice their pride and honor for our sake. Watch their in-game streams and send some flowers and hearts. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Brody. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.